Well, how do there, chum? So, I jumped on YouTube to see if I could work out how to get my version of No Man's Sky to work on the experimental branch, because I've got it on my PC. So, anyways, couldn't find a video, but I found some instructions over on the experimental branch. So, let me bring that up on screen so you can see it, shall I? Here we go, people. So, hopefully you can see that on screen now. So, it's just this little piece of text here. To play experimental, right click on No Man's Sky from the Stream Library page and select Properties. Among the available tabs will be the Betas tab. Enter in Experimental with a 3 instead of an E at the start. In the text box and press Check Code, then select it from the drop down menu. Righto, well that sounds, that sounds pretty easy doesn't it? It does, so let's go do that then. So here we go, if I jump on over to my desktop, go into my gaming folder, you can't see this because it's on the other screen at the moment, but here you go, here's my gaming folder. So if I was to double click on Steam, hopefully that's going to open up Steam, so here we go. Here's my No Man's Sky, right click on it and go to properties. Okay, lovely jubbly. And then where did it say to go? Hold on, let's just refresh, shall we? Let's have a quick look-see. So going to properties, among the available tabs will be the betas tab. Okay, all right. Betas tab, you say? Yes, there it is there. So here we go, enter in the beta. Okay, so here we are. And there, yeah, I guess there. Put that into there. Check code. Okay, is that it? And then experimental. There we go, people. We've done it. I. Is that? Is that it? Is that... Seriously, is that all I do? Is okay. All right, and I guess that's it that. then, is it? Okay. Well, I'm seeing a game appearing on my screen right now, but I'm not seeing it appearing on my Streamlabs screen. Oh, here we go. I spoke too soon. We're in. Let's see if this is experimental. What I do is I hit up a uh, creative save, and hopefully it's going to start us with a Rasa, which is going to be like a C-class ship. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, better turn my joypad on, that helps, doesn't it? Oh, balls. Yeah, um, maybe not then. Okay, right, I guess we're playing with the mouse then, are we? Brilliant. Yeah, I did plug it into my poxy blinking PC. It's plug and play, dang you. There's the freaking lead. Let's plug it into the side rather than to my USB hub. Maybe that might do the trick. But now it's blinking paired itself to my bloody PlayStation. And uh, yeah, it's still not bloody working, is it? Oh. Actually, did, did it just move then? Did I just make it move? Yes, it moved again. Um, well, that's weird. Some buttons are working, some aren't. I have no idea what's going on there. Let's right, we'll give up on that then. No, let's, let's not. Look, I, I can get away with using the keyboard and mouse for like 10, 20 minutes, I'm sure. All right, well, let's go and have a look at my freaking ship then. Shall oh, for fudge's sake. It just, it just exited out. Yes, that's what I'm using. Funny enough, that's what I've got in my freaking hand. Okay, um, for whatever reason, you can't see that on screen right now, but it's just popped up with this on screen. There you go, look, I'll show you. Yeah, it, it's come up with all of that, and uh, it, it's acting like I can use this right now. But um, obviously, I'm inside of the actual game, and can I fudge as like, you know? Okay, right, so I'll just press the middle button again. Let's see if that... Uh, let, let, now let's... And two, I guess. Upgrade ship. Apply augmentation. Let's see if we can see any of these slots. There they are. We've got a load of purple slots, which is pretty darn freaking great. Awesome. So we've got three there already. But I don't know what class my poxy ship is. I think I've already done it up to an S class, because that's the only way that makes sense, isn't it? Or maybe it's an A class, because I've got... Oh, no, I've got four. So I've got four. So that's what they look like. These are the boosted slots. And I can't move the technology because I don't know how to get the into point. that. These are now boosted, so whatever you put there is going to give you a massive boost. So let's just let's just move some of my normal tech. So let's see the shields right now, two oh nine. So let's pick that up, put that in. It's already jumped to five one, and there you go. You can see it's been boosted. Let's grab that and stick that in there. Chickaboom. So what was that before? Hyperdrive range one two six. Put that straight into the boosted area done let's do the same with pulse drive maneuverability and stick that there so that gives you a rough idea it is boosting these stats massively so those boosted ones are pretty darn cool let's take that out of there for a second 
yeah you can see that even works just on that normal one you start putting s classes in there people it makes a massive swathe of difference let's go and have a look at some of the ships that are flying in because this is also going to affect ship hunting so let's just jump over the platform and let's just run over to this hauler and we'll see how much the guy wants for it so a c-class ship it's only going to have one boosted slot whereas like a b-class will have two and an a-class will have three and an s-class should have four. Oh, for fudge's sake all right come on yep offer no make an offer on life form ship you can see here this is a c class so it's only going to have one and there it is right there you can see it there so as you're searching for ships now peeps you're probably going to be trying to find ones that have got a clump of those s classy boosty type slots all by e each other sweet we'll see how we get on sorry about all the controls being, being really squiffy people but i'm not used to playing on pc i don't play on pc for this whole freaking reason to be fair but there we go and um, i'm not seeing any in there so it's probably going to be one of these slots over here that we can't see right now uh, but well there's going to be two of them so let's just buy it anyway and i'll show you what i mean so let's just uh, buy that ship i'm in creative mode i think at the moment so we've now got this ship so if i go and buy the extra slots for this ship hopefully can i run punching heck yes i can hold down shift there we are bum, bum, bum. Diddly -diddly. if we're going to here we should be able to find those two slots since this is oh, for fudge sake we get upgrade starship apply augmentations and we're just going to be hitting apply up here let's see if we can uncover them Okay, nothing so far. It's like playing Minesweeper. Where are they all? Are they going to be right next to each other? Well, that could be nice, couldn't it? Now, so I've heard sometimes they might not even appear. So that one at the moment, I'm not seeing any boosted slots whatsoever. Let's go back in again. So I guess it's just a luck of the draw, really, isn't it? Let's upgrade the Starship. And let's do the class. Let's take it up to an S class, shall we? upgrade class and let's see if we get some of the locks appear then so we're into there now let's go into tab let's have a look what we've got there's two boosted ones there well i didn't see them when i was unlocking those cells so it's, we've got two boosted there and one there now that's an a class now if i go and do it to an s class one of these should light up purple let's give that a go bum, bum, bum upgrade starship and i'm going to be doing a class because this is just creative it's a bit of a throwaway save now that's an s class let's have a look now where we've got an extra slot there it is on my launch thrusters so it's a little bit random but then the fun part is where do you put your tech to get the most out of your tech so there we are people that's that's kind of the experimental branch how to get in the experimental branch and then what to expect once you're in and sorry for all the jankiness like i said i normally play on pc so this is this is relatively new to me so thank you very much for sticking with us but i'm going to end off now but there you go that's how you get into experimental branch and that's what these new slots are all about i hope you've enjoyed this episode take care people goodbye goodbye and goodbye again